Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your December 2019 mid-month general reading. So we're looking at the last half of December, uh, the last couple of weeks of December 2019, or towards the end of the year, looking forward to 2020. This reading is for the fire sign of Aries for the last half of December. This is for Aries sun, moon, rising, if your Venus is in Aries, or if you're cross-watching. I always have a hard time saying that, cross-watching. Cross-watching for an Aries. Uh, but as many of you know, general readings always resonate differently for everyone who's watching because there's so many of you watching. So if you know your other signs, rising, moon, sun sign, Venus sign, watch those as well. Um, it can provide additional clarification for you. So welcome everyone. Thanks for all your continued uh, like, share, subscribe, support, feedback, and comments uh, for following me uh, through all of my travels. I do work everywhere that I go and I do like to travel quite a bit. Thank you for coming along with me. Uh, and if any of you are uh, interested in reaching out for a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can click on the description link below for more info and contact details. You can email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. I do offer a wide variety of readings in all areas of life, love and romance, uh, work, career and finance, general health and well-being, spirituality, etc. I do offer uh, love and relationship compatibility readings and also six and 12 month overviews which take a look at what's coming in your life over the next six or 12 months, depending on how far ahead you want to look. Those are particularly popular this time of year. You can order them and people do at all different times of the year, but the overviews are, I always get a lot of requests for them uh, in the month of November, December, as we're transitioning out of one year and looking ahead at a new one. So something to keep in mind. And also this is the biggest gift giving season of the year and personal readings do make wonderful presents uh, for friends, family, and loved ones because there's nothing more personal than a personal reading. It's geared specifically towards one person. So uh, something to keep in mind. All right, let's move right into this reading. Aries are Rams. Let's see what the last half of December has in store for you. All right, Aries, we begin with the devil, followed by the Ten of Pentacles nose is itching. We have the Magician, followed by the Nine of Cups. And from the bottom of the deck, your overall energy is the King of Pentacles. Sorry, I think I held that up upside down. It's not in the reverse. It's in the upright position. Although Aries, I, I feel that your overall energy is actually the King of Pentacles, even though it's manifesting as an Earth sign individual, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You know, kings and queens represent individuals who have mastered their suit. They're at the top of their suit, meaning they've reached a point of, of mastery and self-control and self-discipline over the character traits that are inherent or natural to their suit. This is the King of Pentacles. Pentacles is Earth energy. And in the tarot, this is the energy of the physical structure of our life or what makes us feel stable, safe, solid, uh, a sense of continuity in our the physical structure of our life or the things, the efforts that we put into attaining security, uh, the things that make us feel safe, money, finance, property, real estate, assets, job, etc., um, long-term stable relationships or marriages, etc. So the King of Pentacles is in a very stable place. He's worked very hard to get there, uh, likely both financially, materially, etc. He likes to have the things around him that make him feel stable and secure. However, I feel like you may be holding on too tightly to that which makes you feel safe because there's some, I don't know, some fear here. I mean, we have the devil, which represents profound instability. It can represent addictions or, uh, and we do have the nine of cups, which is the wish fulfillment card, but sometimes it can represent a lot of partying or socializing or alcoholism when combined with the devil. So the devil can represent, 
you know, addictions like drugs, alcohol, sex, gambling, shopping, working, etc. Negative toxic relationships that have too much power and control or neediness or obsessiveness, mental health issues. Um, fundamentally, the devil represents temptations or vices or something that we are enslaved to. Something, uh, I mean, the, the, the fundamental definition of imbalance is that there's too much attention and focus in one area to the detriment and exclusion of all other areas. So there's something that you feel very bound to. Uh, and the clarifying card is the Ten of Pentacles, which like the King of Pentacles represents long-term stability and security, whether it's in the financial or material realm or the emotional realm or all of the above. So, and it's interesting because I think in your last reading, Aries, there was this sense of you distracting yourself I remember correctly there was the sense of you distracting yourself with a bunch of other things because there was something that you were afraid of it looks like here you are holding on like almost in an un in an unhealthy way to that which makes you feel stable and secure in your life this could be money finances um, a relation a long-term relationship um, or it could be that you're perhaps distracting yourself from Perhaps you're in a relationship where the your partner, and this could be your partner too. This, you, some of you may be on the other side of this story. You know, you or your partner, someone here, because I do feel, for example, for those of you for whom I am reading this for as a relationship reading, you or your person, someone is so attached to what makes them feel safe and secure in their life that they're not willing to give it up for something else. For example, if you're in a relationship and your partner wants to get married and you don't or vice versa, um, it's because of fear that it will bring stability and security. Um, it will make you lose the things in your life that make you feel safe, stable, secure, etc. Or vice versa it could be your person that's doing this for those of you for whom this would be a relationship reading some of you it might be career work and finance you might be completely consumed with your job your business your work your career path to the point that you are working obsessively working over time because you are in a sense addicted to or consumed with the need to build up financial financial and material security but no matter how much you acquire it's never enough it might be that for some of you as well and i feel like in the last reading you were kind of distracting yourself from addressing something that needed to be addressed because you were afraid of addressing it because you were afraid of how it was going to work out or the consequences or something i mean it it, it might be this as well but I think that was more related to a relationship reading for some of you too. Now next to that we have the Magician and the Nine of Cups. And again here I feel like you may be distracting yourself with stuff, things, situations, perhaps parties even because it is, whoops, it is the holiday season. I mean the Magician represents someone who I mean, it's a similar energy to the king. The magician has worked long and hard to get to where he's at. He's now in a position where he has control over each of the four main elements in his life. Uh, creativity and passion, uh, which is represented by the wands, fire energy, ideas, thoughts, insight represented by swords, emotions and feelings represented by cups, money, finance, the physical structure of your life as represented by pentacles. So he has reached a mastery. He's a master of self-control and discipline over this. He's worked hard and now he's in a place where he has everything that he needs, wisdom, knowledge, experience, tools, know-how to physically manifest anything that he wants. I don't really like that it's sitting next to the devil though because these two together can represent again someone who is it can represent someone whether it's you or someone else who is kind of running the risk of you know saying I have all of this security and stability I can call the shots I can do whatever I want uh,
Well, let's take a look. The clarifying card for the magician is the Nine of Cups, the wish fulfillment card, the having everything that you want and uh, being very happy and kind of sharing it with other people, uh, more than enough to eat, more than enough to drink. Uh, your cups are full and overflowing to the point that you have enough to share with other people. This is the card of getting what you want. Always a bit of cautionary advice with this card though, because sometimes this can represent having everything that you want, uh, but then finding out it's not everything you thought it was going to be. This can also represent that you have everything within your ability to manifest your heart's desire. However, again, I feel like there's something that you're not addressing or dealing with or making a choice or taking action on that you have been for some time being called to make a decision about Aries. If it's not you, some, for, I mean, this is a general reading. There's a lot of you watching. For some of you, it might be you. For some of you, it might be your partner. for those of you for whom this would be a relationship would resonate as a relationship reading for others of you again it would represent being in a way consumed with trying to acquire everything in your life that makes you feel safe stable and secure finances money property whatever you know long-term relationships whatever makes you feel safe stable and secure but but the devil kind of being over this stability represents that no matter how much you get you never feel safe enough you never feel full enough you never feel like you have enough to feel safe and that's coming from something it's a fear it's represents an underlying huge underlying fear that needs to be addressed and dealt with and i feel like this is something that's come up for you or someone else close to you before but it's like you're doing everything that you can don't shoot the messenger this is just what's coming across you're doing everything that you can to not deal with it directly because you're afraid a you'll lose something else in your life that has made you feel safe in some way whether it's losing a person that's made you feel safe and secure emotionally maybe they want to move forward and you're afraid to because you're afraid that you'll lose the safety or security that you've worked so hard to build up in your life maybe that's based on you know previous negative relationship history maybe you're afraid that history will repeat itself so you don't want to do that but at the same time you don't really want to address it because you're afraid of losing that person in your life so you're kind of stuck in this dilemma or it's for others of you it's being consumed with obsessed with feeling safe and secure and acquiring things that make you feel safe and secure but it's never enough no matter how much you acquire it's never enough it's it, you know it's kind of like the hoarders mentality no matter how much you get to make sure that you're always going to have enough it, it never feels like enough you're always afraid uh, that you're somehow going to lose or be unsafe and to keep from addressing this or addressing where it comes from you or someone close to you just is distracting themselves but really what spirit is showing us here Aries is that you have the ability to manifest what you want but this fear has to be addressed let's clarify this devil and the ten of pentacles what is this devil and this ten of pentacles about The Four of Pentacles and right behind it is the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I think for a lot of you, this is going to represent relationship or something to do with home and family. So the Devil and the Ten of Pentacles, what is that about? Well, we have the Four of Pentacles. This is a card of holding on very tightly, not letting go um, or not willing to share or open up or give of what you have because you're afraid of losing. I... I sometimes see this card come up for people who have lost a great deal in their life in their past and so they cling very tightly to what they have left because they don't want to lose anymore 
because uh, sometimes this can be considered the miser card, financial, material, or they just don't, they've worked hard to build up a, 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 the physical structure of their life at least, if not the emotional structure, in a way that makes them feel safe and stable. And they're not very forthcoming about sharing or being very open about that because, you know, they're afraid that if they do, they'll lose everything again that they've lost before and worked so hard to rebuild. This can, again, for relationships, this can be two ways. It can represent either you're not willing to have a committed relationship or take it a really, uh, an already established relationship further because you're afraid that if you do, perhaps history is going to repeat itself and what you lost before you'll lose again. So you're withholding. But also in a relationship reading, this could mean the opposite too for some of you. It could represent that you or someone close to you is obsessively holding on to the relationship, not letting the relationship go because it represents, you know, your happy home and family. There's, there's a strong theme of home and family, possibly marriage in this reading. So for many of you, and I've gotten a lot of these for readings lately, there's a lot of relationship energy going around and it could be that time of year too because it always, the holiday seasons always bring relationships and our personal connections more into focus uh, or sharp focus. The Ten of Cups is the happy home card, often called the marriage card, the feeling like everything's finally come together the way that it should be, uh, particularly where home and family life are concerned. So. Some of you may be holding very tightly onto a relationship and not wanting to let it go because it, it has brought you some level of safety and normalcy. But if that's the case, there's something that needs to be addressed because this is imbalanced. There's an imbalance there somehow. Whether you're holding onto the relationship tightly itself but not wanting to do what needs to be done to make it healthy or not willing to go any further in a relationship because um, you've been there, done that, and it wasn't good for you in the past and you're afraid of ruining what you have. Or again, it could be the uh, obsession with the acquisition of what makes you feel safe and stable and secure. There's this huge fundamental imbalance here, but I believe that a relationship or home and family is kind of at the root of it and some fears about that which need to be addressed and not distracting yourself from it like I feel like you have been or perhaps it's somebody closer to you. Let's pull an advice and guidance card for you, Aries. This feels like kind of a heavy reading sorry, during the holiday season too, but that is how it goes sometimes. Holiday seasons can be some of the most challenging emotional times of the year, particularly where relationships are concerned because it's such a, there's so much emphasis on home and family and people coming together. Uh, all right, advice. The lovers. So for a lot of you, this is going to be about a relationship you feel or person you feel very passionate about, connected to. The Lovers is also a card that represents needing to make a choice. And in the early, FYI, just in the early tarot decks, uh, this particular card was not called the Lovers, it was called the Choice. And it showed a man standing in front of two women or vice versa. You know, the implication being that a decision needed to be made about a significant or primary relationship that was going to significantly affect the relationship it doesn't necessarily mean a three-party relationship. It just means that a decision needs to be made that is likely about a relationship or that it will significantly influence or affect a relationship with someone that you feel very passionate and connected about. So Spirit is saying here, it's time to make a choice. It's time to make a decision. It's time to deal with what needs to be dealt with once and for all, or make the decision to let it go. Let the situation go, let them go. There's something that needs to be, but even in letting it go, this is something that will come up again. And that's the nature of you know, cycles that need to be broken. If we don't deal with them when they come up, spirit will give us another opportunity in another form for this to be dealt with. And it looks like something needs to be dealt with once and for all. Um, let me pull one more. Uh, 
advice and guidance card. So a decision needs to be made. We ha oh two, uh, the two of swords and the star. So this is about taking the blindfold off. Stop distracting yourself. Stop pretending that whatever is wrong or needs to be addressed doesn't exist because it does, and it needs to be dealt with. And the star is saying, the star is about renewed hope, faith restored. This is about walking in faith and having walking in faith, even if you can't see more than a step or two in front of you and trusting that as long as you do what's in front of you to do the right thing, step by step, that spirit's going to meet and match you. And the situation is going to work out for you. It's asking you to make the decision to do what you know is right and best and to have faith that that's going to work out. interesting reading Aries I'm not quite sure what else to say about this reading uh, I mean if I were an Aries listening to this I'm not sure if I would like it all that much um, unless it's for the other person or situation that I'm involved with um, but I feel like this has been kind of an ongoing issue or theme uh, for a lot of the Aries readings uh, over the last few months so if it resonates for you it's for you if it doesn't it's not so Aries, that is your reading for the last half of December. I hope that you uh, found it enlightening or validating in some way. Uh, again, if any of you are interested in a more personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, particularly if any of these videos resonate for you and you'd like to take another look at something, uh, just click on the description link below and send me an email at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be most happy to set something up with you. Uh, I do readings full time, five to six days a week, sometimes seven days a week. Uh, it's all that I do and it was all that I love to do. So I'm pretty diligent at working with everyone's schedules to get readings out in as timely a fashion as possible. So send me an email if you're interested and we'll go from there. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the January 2020 uh, general readings. I hope everyone continues to have uh, a very blessed holiday season, a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope to see you back here again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.